on this problem, it says that f of x is 4x to the 8th minus 7x to the 5th minus 8x squared plus 5. We need to fill in these blanks. So what this is referring to is the end behavior that we previously talked about uh, by looking at the end behavior models there. That's how you want to fill this in. The term that you're going to look at is the very first term. The leading term is the most important on this because that has your degree. So in this case, my n is the highest power. My n is 8 here. So in this case, n is even. And then the number that comes in front of the x is the a sub n. In this case, the a sub n is positive. Okay, so I have this situation, n is even and a sub n is greater than zero. All we have to do is look at the end behavior model on the table, and that's going to tell us what to fill in on these blanks. Okay, so we'll scroll up here. So pardon me as I scroll up. Uh, so right here, that's the situation we have. n is even and a sub n is greater than zero. So in this case, uh, as I move to the left, f of x goes to infinity. And if I go to the right, f of x goes to infinity. So in both cases, I'm going to have infinity. I'm going to fill in on both of those blanks. So just asking you for each of these here. All right, so f of x approaches infinity as x approaches negative infinity, and f of x also approaches infinity as I move to the right as x approaches infinity. So again, I just got those directly from our end behavior table above there. Let's do another one of those. Okay, so this one here, Again, I'm going to look at the leading term that I have here. In this case, my n is 9, n is odd. And the number that comes in front of the x, my a sub n, is less than 0. Okay, so now I know what n behavior model to use. n is odd and a sub n is less than 0 because I have a minus 2 there. That means I'm going to look at the very last one, this one right here. And so for this, uh, f of x, the first time, if I'm going towards negative infinity from the x, f of x approaches infinity, it's going up. And as I go to the right, it's going down to negative infinity. Okay, so I would just do here. This one goes to infinity as I move to the left. And then as I move to the right, it's going to approach negative infinity. And that would be the answer for that one. Again, we're just taking the answers directly off of this chart this table up here and that's how i'm filling in uh those particular values so again these two problems these are done just by looking at the n behavior models in particular you're looking at the algebraic uh description of those n behavior models in order to answer these questions